Hi there and welcome back to my studio. I am finally back in Taichung after what felt like months of raining in Taipei. In this video I would like to talk about the current project I'm traveling with called Taper. I did a show here at Lei Gallery a few months ago. Um, a video of the show can be found on Lei Studio's YouTube channel. I will also talk about the process behind the project and more specifically the software I'm using. Now Isadora is a graphic programming software with an emphasis on digital video but also supports sounds and MIDI. The software is mostly used for multi-projector setups in theater and interactive media installations. The aim with this specific work was to capture the essence of nature through a combination of music, field recordings and videos. For the videos I wanted to capture nature through a still frame like a zoomed in close-up view to simulate the idea of a moving abstract painting. The goal was to get the videos to fade in and out of the screen through layering and blending. The field recordings on the other hand are used in the background as a soundscape during the performance. As you can see here the videos and sound clips are linked to Isadora from a hard drive like most video editing software. During the conceptualization phase of the project, I planned out a timeline with chronological scenes. The timeline can be seen here at the bottom in Isadora. I made a number of scenes for each element as well as an intro and an ending scene. The idea was to create a flow from one element to the other. I made these bridge scenes between every element to represent the interconnectedness of nature and have scenes where the elements are interacting with one another. To move from one scene to the next, I created jumpers and they are activated by the piano and the MIDI controller. So basically the music compositions are the foundation of the performance and determines the order of the scenes and also how the performance was designed. Within each scene I created these patches. Patches consist of a number of actors and each actor has a specific task assigned to them. Even though the project seemed structured, the approach to putting the videos, field recordings and piano compositions together was quite experimental. It took a lot of trial and error to create different effects for each element. I just wanted to give you an idea of how the piano is interacting with the videos and how it connects with my subject matter. The videos are all about one minute long. I did basic color correction and cropping in Adobe Premiere. The effects such as layering and blending, fading in and out and so on are happening in real time during each performance and I use the electric piano and MIDI controller as interfaces. I'm using layering and blending as a technique throughout my art to communicate the multidimensional and interconnected relationship we have with nature. This brings me to the patches. So, for example, in the water scene, I've got two movie players and a video mixer. So basically, the videos are layered on top of each other, and they are basically moving back and forth when I change the values in a video mixer. I can set up these actors and get them to communicate with the videos. I can predetermine how the videos blend with each other, what videos are playing, and how many videos are playing at a time. In the earth scene, for example, I have four video players playing simultaneously, but the videos are triggered consecutively and cross-fading from one video to the next. At the same time, I'm switching the videos up in the movie players. In other words, a sequence of four videos are playing in a loop, and as they are looping, I am taking some videos out and throwing new ones in the mix. As for the field recordings, in each patch I have a few sound players as well and they are triggered by the piano as I am playing the compositions. Some sound clips fade in and out every time it gets triggered and some players are continuously being triggered which creates like a bit of percussion. For example, in the fire scene I have recordings of me scratching around in dry leaves that are being triggered in rhythm with the piano. In the earth scene here, I have sounds of birds and bongo drums and they are also in rhythm with the piano. In the wind scene, on the other hand, the sounds are a bit different. They get triggered occasionally and fade in and out gradually.
I think what makes real-time interactive audiovisual performances so intriguing is the temporary nature of it. A performance like this brings the art-making process and the music compositions onto the stage, which means the process, as well as the end product, happens simultaneously. any questions feel free to ask in the comments below. I would like to document my new project from the initial planning phase to going out and shooting the videos, doing the field recordings and then finally the programming where everything comes together. Since my approach to art is a bit different from visual artists, I'd like to know from you what kind of videos you would like to see here on Lay Studios YouTube channel. I'll put links in the description below about the software and so on. So that's it for today. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one.